Welcome to Arts and Props with GL. Hi, I'm Gail. Here's how to weave a palm leaf cross. I'll show three different levels, beginner friendly, intermediate, and advanced. Hold one palm leaf like this. If you can see, this is double right here. I'm just showing you that, but we're going to keep it as one for right now. Now we will pick up a pair of scissors and cut off the ends to keep the thicker part of the leaf. And we want it to be as long as we can, but thick. We can thin out the thicker part of the leaf by just pulling gently on the sides and tearing it off. Next, tear the two leaves apart, and now we're ready to begin weaving our crosses. We're going to overlap them at the top and make a right angle. Leave enough at the top so that it matches this thickness because we're going to fold it down. And what we want to do with this one is leave enough thickness here. Now, notice how the horizontal one is on top of the vertical one, so we're going to lay it down like this. Then I'm going to fold this down. It's overlapping, so we're going to call it over. This one's going to go over this one. So we have it folded like that. And what we're doing here is creating the middle of the cross and locking the pieces together. So we're weaving it together so they lock in place. Now we're going to take the bottom one and we're going to fold it straight up as well. So we've gone over three times. Now I'm going to fold it with one thumb and I'm going to take the horizontal one here and I'm going to loop it around my thumb and come to the back side and you'll see a little pocket that we've created. However, if you let go of this, you'll lose the pocket. So you want to hold on to it and we're going to press this from behind, not here, but behind where this locks in place. And that's probably the trickiest part throughout. Another way to look at it is tying it. Now we're going to pull it tight like this. So this is locked in place now and I can let this go. I don't have to hold on to it anymore. Now you're looking for this horizontal line right here. So if I drop it, all I have to do is pick it up and find that horizontal line on the front again and I can start where I left off. You want this horizontal line right here, then you're going to bring the top down and you're going to loop it and we're going to make the top part of the cross by pulling it down like this. And I think I'll keep the top part about right there. You can still move this back and forth as well as the sides too. So you're not locked in place there. Now I'm going to take the horizontal one. Remember it goes horizontal and I'm going to loop it back here. You can see the loop right there. I hope. Let me see if I can move out of the way. We're going to loop it back here. And then we're going to loop it behind again so we can hide the ends. So that way you don't have to cut it off and it holds well. And we're just going to loop it back like that. Then you can organize this the way you like to make your cross. And I can move these around and adjust them any way I need to. And we have a nice, tight-looking cross. Make a right angle with both of them. Leave enough space to bring this down and this one over. The horizontal one is overlapping the vertical one. Then we're bringing this down. So over. Bring the side over. And if it splits, you can cut it. I prefer to bend the leaves and keep them the same length. Then I'm going to flip this up. So we're going to flip it over. We'll call it flip it over there. So now we have this. It's not locked yet. So in order to lock it, you're going to loop it around your thumb, go through the back side and find that little pocket on the very back. And then you slide it through, still holding on until you wrap it around your thumb, then let go. And you can pull it in and you have a nice right angle here. Take the top, loop it down through. And you're looking for that horizontal line right there to loop it down. 
take this side one and you're going to loop it behind in this part right here. And then you're going back through that same pocket on the other side to loop it through and you have a cross like this. Okay, so now we have two. So for the last one, we'll keep the words very simple. Overlap horizontal on top of the vertical. Over. 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 Loop around. Go through the pocket. Hold on to it. Hold tight. Loop down. Looking for that horizontal line right there. Loop through the back pocket here. And loop around this way. And you have your cross. So here are three crosses. I want to give a shout out to Lisa and Effie for showing me how to do this at the Greek Orthodox Church today. I'm very grateful. Thank you and blessings to all of you.